My lemon sour cream pie recipe is easy and delicious. This amazing dessert combines the zippiness of lemons and the tanginess of sour cream, so it's sure to brighten your day. Let's go over the ingredients. Here in this bowl, I am going to add one and a half cups of sour cream, 12 ounces, or as I measure, 340 grams. This is at room temperature. I left it on top of the stove. I'm using full fat sour cream. I would not recommend using reduced fat or fat free. I don't think it'll work. So use full fat sour cream. Of course, you're going to need some lemons. So I am using three teaspoons of lemon zest. If you don't want to zest all of these lemons, then what you could do is you could do one teaspoon of lemon zest and one teaspoon of lemon extract. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, as I measure 160 grams, two large eggs at room temperature, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Of course, I'm going to need a pie crust, and over there I have a nine inch regular pie crust. That is raw, it is not par-baked. If you want to use a graham cracker crust, which I think would work really well with the lemon sour cream pie, the sweetness and the tanginess would balance each other out very well. I personally would bake the homemade graham cracker crust first, but like I said, if you're using a normal pie crust, you do not need to pre-bake it. This recipe is super easy because all we have to do is just put everything into this bowl, mix it up, pour it into the unbaked pie shell, and then put it into the oven. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put in the sour cream. I think this is gonna be really tangy. If you like lemon and you want something that has a creamy texture, maybe somewhat reminiscent of cheesecake, I think this is the recipe for you. So there we have the sour cream. I'm going to add the sugar. Honestly, I don't think that the order matters at all. Nothing's hot. We don't have to worry about bringing down the temperature at all. A quarter cup of lemon juice. Add the salt now. Lemon zest. You can see it's super easy. We're just literally dumping and then stirring. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stir this and I'm gonna taste it before I add the eggs. So I've never made this before. I just came up with this. So I'm gonna see if I think it needs more sugar or just something else. Honestly, some people would have liked it at three quarters of a cup of sugar, but I wanted to add a little bit more. I added one tablespoon and it's good, but I think it needs another tablespoon. So we will say a total of three quarters of a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar. 160 plus 30, 190 grams as I measure. I taste this. Yes, I like that. Now that I like the way the filling tastes, I'm gonna add my two eggs. Here I have my handheld electric mixer. If you wanna do this by hand, you can, but I'm just going to use this mixer to whip a little bit of air into the filling. Now that the filling is mixed, I'm simply going to pour it into my unbaked pie shell, and I'm going to bake at 350 Fahrenheit, or I'm guessing 45 minutes, but I'll let you know for sure. And I highly recommend placing it on, in my case, a pizza pan or a cookie sheet or something. It's going to make it a lot easier to take in and out of the oven. I just took the lemon sour cream pie out of the oven. It was in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered for 50 minutes. It probably would have been okay at 45, but I wanted to give it just five more minutes because the center looked a bit jiggly. I'm gonna let this cool. I can't wait to dig in. 
First of all, I really liked how this pie looked. The crust was perfectly golden brown and the filling was a bright yellow color. Exactly what you'd expect from a lemon pie. And when I took the first bite, I knew that I had found something good because this lemon sour cream pie was absolutely delicious. With the three teaspoons of lemon zest and the good amount of lemon juice, this pie had plenty of lemon flavor. And the sourness of the lemon and the tanginess of the sour cream went together perfectly. And honestly, those flavors complemented each other even better than I was expecting. I know this might sound weird, but this tasted like a lemon pie. It didn't taste like a lemon sour cream pie. If you serve this to people and you didn't tell them that sour cream was one of the main ingredients, I honestly don't think that they'd realize it. They'd probably have trouble trying to figure out what made the filling so creamy because most people would probably just say, this is a lemon pie, a really, really good lemon pie. And I know this is a bold statement, but this lemon sour cream pie was probably the best lemon dessert that I have ever had. I would say that a really good lemon bar is a close second, but like I said, the sourness of the lemon and the tanginess of the sour cream went together absolutely perfectly in this pie. And in addition to the flavor, I really like the creamy texture. Now that you can see a cut slice up close, it's obvious that the filling was really creamy. Together with the crispy pie crust, this pie had a ton of flavor, but also a ton of texture. And even though the bright lights in that video clip washed out the yellow color, now in these photos, you can see what the pie really looked like. It was a bright yellow color that, like I already said, it was absolutely what you would expect from a lemon flavored pie. Really, the only bad thing about this pie is that I made the pie crust ahead of time, and so it didn't turn out quite as well as I would have liked, but other than that, this pie was absolute perfection. Even though I do think that the amount of sugar is flexible, some people might be okay with just three quarters of a cup, others might want one cup. I think that three quarters of a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar is perfect. But if you're like me and you're making this recipe for the first time, I highly suggest trying the filling with three quarters of a cup of sugar before adding the eggs because you can always add more later, but you can't take away. Although this pie is very similar to the lemon custard pie recipe I made a couple years ago, I think that this lemon sour cream pie is better because the tanginess of the sour cream emphasized the lemon flavor in a way that I was not anticipating. I also think that the color and texture of the filling was superior in this pie. Really, I feel like the lemon custard pie was an egg custard pie that just so happened to have lemon flavor, but this sour cream version and the way that it tastes and looks, it's a lemon pie. I know I've already said this multiple times in this video, but this lemon sour cream pie recipe turned out absolutely perfectly. Like I've already said, this was an easy, delicious, and inexpensive recipe that if you are a lemon lover, you have to give it a try. And because of its bright color and flavor, I think it would be absolutely perfect for Easter, Mother's Day, or just springtime in general. And actually, this is my first video in a short Easter pie series, so be sure to stay tuned for more amazing pies for Easter. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.